It's almost Valentine's Day But who needs love when you got the Transformers Fall of Cybertron Grimlock? Also, my name is Jobby, I guess. I don't you think I sound any different. I have a bit of the case of the sore throat, You're the sandpaper throat. This is what happens when you swivel too hard. The robot mode's great. He's got big, broad shoulders and huge arms that he can just wrap around you and whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. I know most of you are single, but you always got your Uncle Jobby here. Swivel here. Oh, uh, yeah, you like that? Huh? Swivel. Ooh, yeah, swivel. Swivel. <coughs> Shit. He's got that nice balance between the G1 designs from the 80s and the Michael Bay aesthetic where, you know, you just got stuff all over the place. It's busy. Busy as a overworked Japanese salary man. That wasn't even a joke. That was like a sad truth. I'm sorry about that. You know, the head sculpt's pretty good. It's kind of plain compared to the rest of the body. You got a few lines here and there and some good light piping. He's also got except. <laughs> I can't do that voice right now. He's also got accessories. A sword and a shield. This sword's amazing, man. I love the design of this sword. God damn. It activates the inner boy in me. You know, the inner little boy in me who's like, oh, fuck. That's a badass, sick-ass blade, bro. I didn't grow up in the best neighborhood. The shield is equally as awesome. Are you fucking ready for this? This just, It's about to get real up in... Woo! Got some light-up features here. Love it. The light's actually coming from... Oops, spoilers. This guy's got some swivels, but not much possibility. Ball joint, rotate, in, out. Swivel here! Elbow, rotate. Swivel! <laughs> in, out, knee. Uh -huh. And that's it. And this guy's pretty big. Here's Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Figma Monica Kaname, Age of Extinction Grimlock. This shit blows this guy out the water. And the SH Monster Arts Godzilla. After the great looking robot mode with all of its positives and its sexiness and its, and its tastiness. Mmm, transformation's disappointing. <coughs> that's a T-Rex. According to Hasbro, who proved this shit? This dinosaur mode is seriously underwhelming. Where's the proportions? Where's the aesthetic? I mean, this gap isn't a design flaw, right? It's not the result of lazy engineering. No, it's a feature. You could put all sorts of shit in here. You could put change. You could put medication. You could eat out of it. Put noodles. This fucking tail, man. Like, what? It's sad. Normally, I say a little junk in the trunk is a good thing. But not in this case. Did I really say junk in the trunk? What is this, the 1950s? What? This is the only place where these weapons can go. Couldn't you have found a way to make the sword maybe fold in and then, you know, stick it in that gaping hole? It just doesn't look good. The only real redeeming quality of this mode is this. I gotta tell you, that looks pretty damn cool. But then it's immediately ruined by the fact that you can't open the mouth. It's spring-loaded. You can't do shit with this guy, it's, it's just a brick. It's got no added posability, it's got no class. This toy's got a funky ass. DK, Don Donkey Kong. Size comparison. Prime, Monica, and a bunch of T-Rexes. You guys like T-Rexes? I like T-Rexes. So what can I say? T-Rex mode, eh. Robot mode, mmm. Ah, ah, I got the option. Ah, fuck, I can't do it. Why is it that Grimlock? King of the Dinobots, why does he always get shafted when it comes to dinosaur modes? Well, based on the affordable Grimlock figures, can someone do Grimlock justice at an affordable price? Fuck you two. Thanks for watching guys, and if you found it at least mildly entertaining, give me a like and a comment. Fire this throat fucking sucks. I shouldn't have sucked that much dick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You know, this doesn't feel like most of my videos, it's because I'm trying to see if I can come up with a whole video without a script. Because honestly, a script, it's tedious, you know, and it kind of limits my, my creative space. But if I do it raw, you know, if I, if I let my mind go wild, I could just come up with stupid shit that I would never have thought about saying, like what I just said right now about the dicks. But you know, that thought was in the back of my head all along. <laughs> I have a girlfriend.
I haven't collected much Transformers in recent years, but honestly, from the pictures I've seen, they're stepping up their game. Maybe I should get back into it. But right now, I've been consumed with the, with the desire for another figure that supposedly has the same playability as a toy like this, but with all the bells and whistles of a higher-end adult collectible. My loins shiver at the thought of it. Uh -huh. Happy Valentine's Day, I guess.